point in 2008, there's an exchange of artillery fire over several months, and then the Georgians said, I'm mad as hell, I've had enough, we're going in. And they did. They invaded South Ossetia. The problem is, remember, the South Ossetians are supported by the Russians. Russians are slightly bigger and more powerful than the Georgians. So the Russians went screaming into Georgia and almost conquered the country. They almost made it to Tbilisi. Uh, at that moment, the Georgians had, uh, had, were received enough reality therapy, and they said, OK, we were just kidding. And the war stopped. What's important for our purposes is that during this conflict, it's the first actual international armed conflict in which there's lots and lots and lots of cyber. It all came from, the, from Russia against Georgia. There were sites that came up on the internet that, the internet that said you can attack this target. Here's the address. Here's the malware you need to attack the target. They were just like Estonia because they learned from the Estonian experience, attacking government targets, attacking commercial targets. The banking system was brought down for 10 days, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Again, what were the consequences? This is normatively important. The consequences did not involve destruction or damage. They simply involved uh, denial of service, uh, web, uh, web defacement, and so forth. Here's an example. Am I doing this wrong, Charlie? Is this, is there, do you have an instruction guy for this? <laughs> okay. This Here's, is what retired generals do. They click for. <laughs> Uh, Charlie was, when I was a young captain out, coming out of the University of Texas at JAG, Charlie was my instructor at the JAG school, and it gives me enormous delight to have him flip my slides, okay? <laughs> so... What goes around comes around. Yeah, what goes around comes around. At any rate, everyone pointed at the Russians for these attacks. In fact, there was not a lot of evidence that the Russians were involved. The only real piece of evidence was that within hours of the commencement of hostilities, a website popped up called stopgeorgia.ru. Uh, uh, I've got it up here. And that website contained list, long list of cyber targets and lots and lots of malware. That's primarily the indication that these were coming from the Russian government. Uh, the international, this was an international armed conflict, so the international community steps in and offers assistance to the Georgians. This is the example of using cyber during an armed conflict. It's this example that you use to analyze law of war, use in bellow, IHL. Not so fast, General. <laughs> Could you go back? Uh, back? At least I know which thing to press here. You're, you're getting it. Okay, don't lose your confidence. You're almost there, okay? <laughs> One more? <laughs> no, uh, next slide, please. There we go. Okay, I'll just do next slide, Charlie. Okay, 